Hello guys, welcome you faces back to another Simple Helicopters video! Yes, Simple Helicopters! It is Simple Planes, uh, but today I do have two helicopters to show you guys. This one is a Hawker Hind Mark 1, and uh, it's a pretty cool looking helicopter. And the other one is a Chinook. So uh, we'll be looking at both of those today, and also I believe I've got a little bike to show you guys. And I might also throw a plane in here as well. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with the video. Hey! Alrighty, so first things first is I need to learn how to take off in this thing and I believe if I just go full throttle We will end up going in the air. Yep. There we go. We're flying. We're fly. Oh wow. We're flying man Look at how much armament this thing's got. It's got guns all over the place guns out of the wazoo We got wing guns right there as you guys can see we got rockets on the end of those uh, We got another rocket underneath there, and then I believe these things fire rockets I don't know whether we got any mini guns. Also, we got a camera on the front. Man, this thing looks great. Now, let's attack the carrier that we just took off from. Uh, so, I was told um, that to turn around, I shouldn't uh, use yaw. I should just tilt the way I wanted to go and then pull up. So, I guess that's how we'll do it. Because I don't think yaw works. Uh, so, there we go. Bam! Although we could try your, I guess. Nope, no, I don't think that's a good idea, actually. <laughs> I don't think using your is a good idea. All right, I'm going to try and turn around my best of us. Um, and then we're going to go so side on and uh, launch some rockets into the destroyers and all of those guys. All right, here we go. Oh, my Jesus. I think I, mi I missed every one of those. Oh, Jesus. Help. Mayday, mayday, going down. Holy Jesus. Okay, well, that didn't go to plan. All right, I tell you what. We're going to go ahead and take off again. And uh, this time, we're just going to go backwards. Yeah, there we go. Let's go backwards in the air. Also, attack air to ground. And uh, we're going to do a strafing run. So, aim forwards. And then just, just unleash the rockets. Nope, they missed. Okay, unleash the rockets. In three, two, one. I hit one of them. I only hit what? Oh, we're dead again. We are dead again. Oh, Jesus. This thing does not like being alive. Alrighty, we're doing a strife and run. If you guys are ready for this, are you ready? Three, two, one, go! And it's go, go! Oh. Do I win? Did the, did the carrier die? I don't think the carrier is dead. I think the carrier is actually A-OK. -okay. Um, it's a little bit on fire, let's be honest. And our rotor, like, went straight up for whatever reason. Um, but no, that didn't go too well at all. Okay, we're gonna have one more attempt. I'm gonna go ahead and take off. We're gonna go left, and, uh, we're gonna fly off into, like, a different direction. Um, also, I kinda wanna know if these bullets, uh, will take out boats. Because sometimes they can, and sometimes they can't. Also, it is damaging me as I'm firing those. So I'm not entirely sure what's wrong with that. I don't know what this does. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. We do have a gyro though, so that's good. Um, also, let's go ahead and go over here. We'll go ahead and select the rocket pods. And um, then we'll go ahead and turn around. Because that's what we need to do. So, if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and turn. Hopefully we can turn alright. Let's go ahead and get rid of our gear as well. Wait, that closes the door on the side. Hey, look at that. That's cool. That is pretty cool. Um, right, turning around in this thing sucks. Alright, there we go. We did it. We've turned around. We've fully turned around. Now we just need to line ourselves up. Uh, using the... I guess this camera will, will work. Uh, and then we just launch a million rockets. Their direction. There we go. We hit those ones. Without yaw, it's very hard to control. Oh, we're getting locked onto as well. Ah! Nope, we're dead. We're dead. Alright. I'm done with that helicopter. I'm done. It is pretty cool. It's just very hard to uh, aim and fire when you don't have a yaw control uh, and you have to turn around um, in like this massive circle. However, we did actually hit a shot there, which was pretty cool. Anyway, let's move on to the uh, the little bike and then we'll move on to the Chinook and then I might get a plane out. All right, here it is. It is probably small enough to actually have on an aircraft carrier. So we're going to drive it around. We're going to do loop-de-loop -loop on the aircraft carrier. When I say loop-de-loop, -loop, I mean like a lap around. And hopefully we don't fall off, because if we do, that would be really bad. Oh, Jesus. All right, cool. That's probably good enough. There we go. Let's go ahead and turn around. We'll go back the other way. Yeah, look at this. That's amazing. 
Man, this thing's great. The stability on some of these things is amazing. Oh, no! Woo! 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 Ah! No! We are so close to falling off the edge. Please, no! No! Help! Help me! Nope, we're dead. We're dead. We've fallen in the water. Never mind. All right, we've actually come to the proving grounds to try and test this thing out, and uh, we're gonna do the same thing that the Ural did, and we're gonna try and go, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. We're gonna try, oh, no. Oh, no. Way. Oh, right, okay, so we can actually do, like, aerobatics. Oh, that is cool, actually. I like the way they've done that. They've added, um, oh, endo. What, wait, what do you guys call them where you live? Because I call them endos, but I, I don't know what you guys would call them. Anyway, we do actually have some sort of, like, we could do tricks. We could do, like, backflips and stuff with this thing. So, how about we go ahead and we do a big ramp, and, um, we try and do a backflip, or a wheelie, or whatever. Here we go. Yeah, there's a big ramp right here. If you guys are ready, I'm gonna try and do a backflip off the end of it, and maybe, hopefully, we can land it on the other side. Oh, we've gone sideways. Ah! I don't think a backflip is actually possible with the gyro. Damn it! I don't think it's possible. Oh, we could definitely... Oh, no! We've exploded a little bit. It's fine. No! Maybe we have to turn the gyro off. Hmm. Can we turn the gyro off? I think we can. Yes. All right. Okay. I've got something to try here. All righty. So let's go ahead and line ourselves up on this thing right here. There we go. And then as soon as we get to the top, I don't want to be turning at all on the way up. But as soon as we get to the top, hopefully, 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 we can turn off our gyro. Oh, why does it go sideways all the time? I- oh, actually, no, wait. I think it might turn off our thing as well. It does. I believe it turns off our thrusters, too. Uh, so we don't end up actually, like, being able to flip when we turn our gyro off. Which sucks. That's really annoying. They've missed out on something there. They really have. Alright, with that being said, though, let's go ahead and try and find another jump to do. And, uh, we'll see how well it does it. Also, can we pop a wheelie? Yes, we can. Look at that, we are wheeling. Holy Jesus. Holy Jesus. We are totally wheeling. Wait, hold on. If I go over a bump. Wow. Oh, we might be able to do a backflip. No, I don't think it's. Whoa. I don't think it's possible. All right, restart here. There is something that I do want to test out. Um, I, I think I've done this a million times, but I don't know what's over here. I, I don't actually know what's in this little bit. So that's where I'm going. Um. Wahoo! It's water. It's definitely water. Holy gee. I just keep forgetting what's actually down here. Um, and yeah, we don't actually want to be down here. So, let's go ahead and restart again. Man, I get distracted too much while I'm recording. It is really annoying being distracted. Every time I tab out, I always, like, start some music playing, and then I don't know what to do. Oh, no. I thought we were going to be able to do a backflip, but no. We weren't going to be able to do a backflip, because that is not possible. Look. It's very close to being possible. Uh, and it can pretty much fly, but it can't do a backflip. Ha, diggity dog. All right, watch this. Oh, my Jesus. All right, maybe that was a bad idea. However, can I? No, I can't. I was going to say, can I Can I flip over, but I, I can't. It is not a possibility. No, nope. no sorry. All right, well, what do I do? I don't know. Oh, my Jesus. You know what I do do? I change to the Chinook, and I fly away. Woo! Holy Jesus. Man, this thing makes, like, no noise, but it's insane. Oh, Jesus. No, don't go that way. Don't go that way, Matty. No. All right, we got a Chinook. That's amazing. That is cool. Uh, so we got AG1 for lights, as you guys can see right there. We've turned on our lights right there. Um, AG8 is to turn on engines and gyros. Bam. Oh, that turns them off. All right, bad idea. Don't press that button. Um, VTOL is to fly upwards, down for reversing. Oh, fly forwards. Hold on. What? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, cool. Um, throttle for rotor pitch. Increase the throttle to ascend. That's amazing. All right, cool. Um, pitch, yaw, and brake are all the same. So that's good. All right, nice. So what I'm going to go ahead and do with this thing is I'm going to try and land it on one of these carriers because that makes sense. Or, no, I don't think we'd fit on a destroyer, but we could try it. We could definitely try it. Man, look at how cool this thing is. That's amazing. That is amazing. We do actually have a cockpit in here, as you guys can see. Uh, the yaw works. Oh, wait. The yaw works. Yeah. The roll works. The pitch works. And, uh, yeah. That's all pretty cool. Nice. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wee, wow, wow. This is amazing. 
So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn left a little bit, and then we're going to turn right, and we're going to try and put ourselves down on the back carrier, which I don't know which one the back carrier is called, or what it is called. Um, the SPN Namatar. Oh, Namtar. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and turn around real quick, and we'll go ahead and stop doing this, because we can actually move forwards under our own power without using that piece right there, uh, just by leaning forwards, which is great. There we go, nicely done. We're coming in for a landing on the carrier. Uh, and then, maybe we can take off and we can try and land on one of the destroyers. Because uh, they do have pretty big helicopter pads. Uh, but maybe not big enough. Probably not big enough. I don't know. Um, right, we're going in. We're going in for a landing, boys. Here we go. Go very slowly. Very slowly indeed. And we are going in. And we might as well just plop it down. There we go, we plopped it down, and whammo! Man, that looks amazing. That is so cool. That is super cool. Alrighty, now that we've actually managed to land on here, we're going to go ahead and take off real quick, and we're going to try and land on one of the destroyers. So, we're going to go sideways a little bit, and I guess that one right there is a good one to go for. It is a cruiser. Ooh, a cruiser. SPN. What does SPN stand for? I can't remember. Uh, right, we're going forwards. We are going forwards, and uh, we're going to try and plop her down on the helipad. Now, this thing might be a little bit big for the helipad, as you guys probably know, um, because it is a twin prop helicopter, or helichopter, I should say. Um, also, the landing area is not very big on these things. It is not very big at all. Uh, so this is going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting to see how this works. Ah! Oh no, we hit it! We hit it! No! Please stay on! Yes! Alright! Alright, we did it! It does actually accommodate a Chinook! That is amazing! That's awesome! Cool! Alrighty, so I said I would test out a plane, and this is the plane that we've got! It's actually got a million wheels! When I say a million wheels, it's got one more than normal! Um, and I guess that's to stop hitting the prop on the- That is a good idea! That is a very good idea! Having this wheel here, so that you don't smash the prop off the floor, is fantastic! That is such a good idea. Um, so, this is the Jello Aircraft Corporation Basket Case Mark 1. And um, it looks like a really, really early aeroplane, and I love it. I really love it so far. Uh, I haven't taken off with it. I haven't taken off with it yet. Are these flaps? I mean, I... What? They're the ailerons? That's cool. That's very cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and go forwards. Uh, it does have a little bit of a cockpit, as you guys can see. We've got our, our flight stick right here. We've got our yaw. And we've also got our throttle on the side. Um, so all of that's pretty cool. We are going 30... 40 miles an hour? Holy Jesus! I don't know if it... Well, I don't know how fast I need to be going for this thing to take off. Apparently 50. Uh, so there we go. We are in the air. Uh, we get the little pistons running. That is amazing. That looks so good. Uh, oh, no. That is so cool. I love the way these are designed, too. The ailerons being on top of the wings. Oh, that is... That is so cool. We've also got one gauge. Um, not entirely sure what the gauge does. Oh, that's the throttle. Oh, I see, I see. Cool. Okay, so I do enjoy attempting to land planes like this. So let's go ahead and do ourselves a little turn around E. And uh, we'll attempt to put it down on a runway. Oh, no, have we stalled? We're dead. We are dead. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Woo! Oh! Ah! Hey, wait, whoa, whoa. Nice. It fixed itself there. Nice, great. I say it fixed itself. I did fix it, but, um... It was able to actually help me, so that's good. Um, everything, like the wings, are all supported by this big structure in the middle. Not entirely sure what this is, but um, it is a cool idea. It is a cool idea. Right, we're going to land on the right runway, and uh, we're going to attempt to put it down nicely. Uh, we are only going 70 miles an hour, so we should be able to put it down relatively easily. Um, and in fact, we are going to do so. So let's go ahead and cut our throttle uh, to like 20%, that seems completely fine. The pistons start moving slower, as you guys can see. And you know what? We can pretty much glide this thing in. So let's go ahead and just turn off our throttle uh, completely. And we are going down. Yes. Let's go ahead and start tilting upwards a little bit. That's fine. We bounced. We bounced once. Oh, yes. And then we can slam on our brakes. And we don't tip over because we got this, like a, a little stabilizer at the front. That's fantastic. That is really cool. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys want to check out any of these builds that I've featured today, uh, they'll be linked down below. And um, hopefully you guys do check them out because this one, this one's amazing. 
it is actually really cool. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.